501 Wolfring here. Now, here's today's algebra problem. If we know a plus b plus c is 0, and a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed is 0, we want to calculate uh, this expression a to the degree of 223 plus b to the degree of 223 plus c to the degree of 223. Now, this might look a little bit complicated. But this is kind of a typical type of problem. So if we know some low uh, degree item value and we want to find some pattern and calculate um, uh, items of high degrees. Now, if this is just for multiple choice and we just want to know the result, we could just guess <laughs> because we assume there's no additional conditions here. So we assume that uh, as long as we find A, B, C, satisfy the first two equations, um, the value of this expression, the target expression, will always be the same. So just try to figure out uh, a special solution for the first two equations. So we can use a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1, c equals to 0, which satisfy both equations. And then we plug that into the target expression, we get this. So the target expression is zero. Now we can further uh, provide some strict proof that this is actually the case. So the idea here is that um, we see a plus b plus c, and we see a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. Naturally, we want to calculate a plus b plus c cubed because a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed would just be part of its expansion. So we calculate this. Now this may look a little bit complicated, but this is actually very organized. It is symmetric. Each item is of uh, to the degree of three. And then because we have a plus b plus c and uh, to the cube, so there's three of them timed together and each one got three items. So in total, there's three times three times three, 27 items. And if you look at the expansion before a uh, combination, there could there are like a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. Those are three items, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six times three, eighteen items plus three twenty one. Then plus six is twenty seven items. And how we get and and we can eat, actually look into how each item is calculated. So if we want to have a cube, you want to take a from the first item. A from the second item and A from the third item. So there's only one possibility, one permutation to get A cube. Similarly, there's only one permutation to get B cube and C cube. For A times B squared, there could be three possibilities. You take A from the first item and B from the remaining two, or A from the second item, A from the third item. So there are totally three possibilities. Similarly, for all those uh, one degree times uh, degree one times degree two items. There are three of them for each one of them. Now for the A B C, this is a permutation. So you can take A from any of the three items, then take B from the remaining two items, and then take C from the remaining one. So this is just a permutation. Three times two times one. There are six possibilities. That's why. That's how we get this. Uh, equation. And then go back to the problem. We also know a plus b plus c is 0, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed is 0. We plug that in and simplify this. We got this equation. Now it may still look a little bit complicated. We want to further simplify it. The idea here is that we try to factor out a plus b plus c either partially or like entirely. And we notice that a times b cubed plus a cubed, uh, a times b squared plus a squared times b plus a b c is just a b times a plus b plus c. And this applies to the other two items as well. So we can get this. Notice that uh, the first three items used three a times b times c. The original one only got two of them, so we have to minus one to make it still an equation. 
Now we also know a plus b plus c is zero, which lead, leads to a pre, pretty simplified conclusion that a times b times c is zero, which means at least one of the three variables is zero. So we could just go on and assume that a is zero. And then b plus c is zero, so b equals minus c. Now this is enough, and we can just plug that into the target expression. So it can be simplified to b to the degree of 223 plus minus b to the degree of 223. Because 223 is the odd number, so this we can just take the minus sign out, and this will just become b to the degree of 223 minus b to the degree of 223, which equals to zero. And that's it for today.